Y'all don't give this. Look at this. I like that. What is this basketball jubilee? Don't hey, don't tell me players choice is gonna be basketball jubilee. Cause we gonna hey, we gonna bang out these reactions. That ass. That ass. Yeah. Came grace to his career that y'all have given to other Let's players. Let's go. If he wanted continuity and coaching, he just should have stayed in Miami. Well, but he kept moving around, so he does. He's the one who doesn't want continuity. That's crazy. Oh, this, 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 this is my thing. This is where they're not. He, you're, he being, you're being, you're being so disingenuous. Yeah, I know them charges are killing him. And I know this recording wasn't just forty minutes. They 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 were sitting down on these metal ass chairs for like a calm hour twenty. <laughs> You're being so dis you want to feel that Jerry, Jerry, Jerry Krause's credit is one of the greatest GMs to ever do it. Yes, he put together a phenomenal. Credit. He is. He is. He's oh. not. Didn't He's get not. nearly as much oh, credit. Just so you know, Marcus O. The year that he won Defensive Player of the Year. Do you know how many times he made the All League Defensive Team before that? Zero. You know how many times he made the All League Defensive Team after that? Zero. I just feel like when it comes <laughs> no, to these Michael transitions, Jordan, is crazy. <laughs> we don't talk about his hardships enough. Right. Like they, we just don't. Like we act like you want us to talk his about career that? starting tonight. Right now, let's talk about the hardships. We talking about right now. If we start bringing up Jordan's hardships and LeBron's hardships, it's going to go back. Y'all, y'all, right. there's no oh, rhyme or reason shit. why somebody like JJ Barea and Jason Kidd should be able to defend him. I, I can rewind the clock back to before <laughs> Jordan came Yo. here. Yo. He had hair, and they, they called him Air Jordan when he was averaging 35 a game against the Detroit Pistons. Mm -hmm. He wasn't blamed for that series, however. Even though if LeBron James had done something now, like what, that, what, what camera is this? What camera is this, dog? They would have said that he choked. Raymond Green goes out publicly and says, they mentally had us. If KD doesn't show up to save us, we might be talking about LeBron in a different light. No, 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 let's, no, no. Was Phil Jackson the best coach when Michael Jordan started winning? No. Okay then. So that. So with that being with, with that being said, that unit being built around him, I've never seen a guy coming. When does the convo start? When does <laughs> yo? When the is it here? I'm to this conclusion, but he's the best that I've ever seen. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. I gotta lie. Constructive criticism. Get to the intro faster, dog. Get to the intro faster. This is where the video starts. All right, ready? Okay. The GOAT debate. Michael Jordan versus LeBron James. Oh, shit. So, first and foremost, Jordan is obviously the GOAT. I don't even know why. Oh, it's shit. Jordan is the GOAT because... I mean, we're talking about somebody who is, what, top five in, like, multiple categories, especially at his position, finishing his career, top three in steals, finished top five in points, even though he is moving down, but, you know, top five in multiple positions, so, I mean, um, in statistical categories. Thank God for Scottie Pippen, right? <laughs> oh, shit. For somebody who only played a handful of seasons, majority of which was accomplished as a bull. So we're essentially Hell talking yeah. about like, like a <laughs> 16, yeah. 10 to 13 year career. So from a statistical standpoint, also even from a career average standpoint, basically averaging 35 and five, extremely efficient for it. Let me say this. LeBron is my goat. Y'all know I've actually switched up on this debate. Will I switch up again? Will I switch up again after the ultimate Jordan versus LeBron debate? We'll find out. We'll, we'll find out. Era that was predominantly dominated by big men. Um, extremely athletic, extremely skilled, one of the best passers at his position at that era of basketball who was able to take advantage of mismatches way better than anybody else. Defensively, one of the best defensive guards at his position the league has ever seen, two-way impact, and was able to translate a lot of that production over into the postseason. Does not even talk about the post game, mid-range shooting, athleticism finishing at the basket, uh, a competent yeah, that was a quick minute. Jesus. It was a quick minute, though, mm -hmm. but I, I, I got a quicker minute for you. Yeah, that so was a long minute. That was a long minute. the game. So before it was Doc and it was Jordan, and then James shows up and he revolutionized the game. We got this six foot nine guy. Yo, this motherfucker says Souls a sandal because he be flip flopping. Come on, dog. Now, if Lil Wayne said it, it would have been hard, but nah. <laughs> nah. Uh, bigger, faster, stronger, does everything just as good, if not better, than guards. He can switch. He can play multiple positions. I've never seen a guy in the history of the game, as long as I've been watching the game, come into the game with that amount of fanfare, with that amount of hype, with that amount of pressure, and actually deliver. And I've also never seen a guy who failed like he did and came back better and came back better and stayed on top for as long as he did. We're talking about a guy who averaged more than 25 a game for over 18 straight years. These are how many guys in the history of the game can say that they've done that. Nobody else can say that they've done that. He's 
at the top of the league in the history Hell of the league yeah. in playoff yeah. points, which means when he was at his best, it was in the postseason. He's also failed, but he's also been at his best in the postseason. He's done it for a long time. He's done it for longer than most, which is why it makes him awesome. Awesome. The reason you haven't seen anyone come back from failure like LeBron James because MJ didn't go through the failures that LeBron James did. Oh, shit. MJ, from the moment he got into the league, the moment he was in the playoffs, was always producing at a high level. You never saw a playoff series where the Bulls lost and he was like, you know what, MJ, you're the reason your team didn't get this done. LeBron James, you can say that's true for multiple series. You look at the 2011 finals, for example, one of the worst series from they the They gotta stop NBA talking history. in the background, though. But we don't need to get what into that. Fuck? Let's talk about the fact that Michael Jordan is the best scorer in NBA history from a production standpoint, from an eye test standpoint, one of the best mid range shooters of all time, one of the best finishers at the rim of all time. Yeah, Imagine LeBron's stats mm -hmm. if he would have had Scottie Pippen. Arguably the best athlete of all time as well. Mm -hmm. He was doing that while also being. They'd be lower. Would they not? Chat, would it? Would LeBron's stats not be lower if he had Scottie Pippen? What kind of argument is that? I don't even know if he was making the argument, but... Being one of the best defenders in the league, especially at his position, leading the league in steals, winning a defensive player of the year, and he's doing this in a 13-year stretch where LeBron James is pushing into year 21 and he still hasn't achieved... Yo, they gotta stop talking in the background. That's, that's I don't crazy. Minute, so Jero, thank you. Oh, shit. I just really love how you repeated what Lowe said just in a different way. Um, my glory is oh, king. Oh. is definitely the goal in his basketball. Oh, goal in his basketball. Shit. Just because <laughs> the yeah, I'm done. You know what he said? I don't know. Yeah. He'll leave his chick for LeBron. He would. Because my glorious king is crazy. That's ridiculous. <laughs> just because the expectations that were put on him as a hero. I think everything he's accomplished in this league, he has. <laughs> stop, stop interrupting me. My minute is my minute is here. I think LeBron James is done. He had the greatest ring in NBA history. He's completed hella side quests in the NBA, such as leading the league in assists. He's led in scoring. He's been all defense. He's won multiple MVPs. He's also the crown messenger. I know everybody gives credit to Jordan for winning the with the Bulls, messenger? but to what win a championship mean? in three different locations oh. is also an accomplishment in itself. I also feel like... Chat, what do y'all think is harder, though? To win six chips for one franchise... Or to go to three different teams and want to ring for each one of those franchises. It obviously depends, but generally. Because I feel like generally, winning six rings for one franchise is harder. Because I feel like gen uh, generally, that means that you went through the ups. And when the downs happened, you didn't leave. And then you worked yourself all the way up to the ups to win like three more. You know what I'm saying? Now, for Jordan, that wasn't the case. But I feel like for Kobe, that was the case. That was the case. Kobe got those three rings with Shaq. Shaq left. Kobe had to go through 05, 06, 07, 08, turned it up, didn't win the finals. And then he got those back to backs and it just, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I don't know. Chat saying six chips is harder in general, though. It took Jordan about seven years to get to... That's what I'm to, saying. So it's not a one-to-one -one comparison. Well, LeBron did in three. And, you know, he may have lost in that finals against Hall of Famers at a young age. But to be able to do that at 23 years old, that's that's a big deal. Right. This man has answered every single expectation. I think even now at 40 years old... Oh, shit. You said it took how long? I hated everything you said. You said it took how seven. long? No, you said how long it took LeBron? A whole lot of three. He got drafted in it took, 03. It took him he three. He, he was in year four. Three years. He was in year four. So you don't okay, know what three. you're talking okay, about. Okay, four. Uh, four. Oh, three, oh, so we established whatever. you just don't. Oh, they didn't achieve one the year. Thing. The difference of they one year. They didn't achieve. Holy shit. God damn. God damn. Can motherfuckers. God. It's a mistake. Jeez. Oh, okay. So you don't know what you're talking God damn. Chill. They, they, did, they, they didn't achieve they're, they're the same to go thing. From the they, they, they one year. Mike actually won, whereas you're just saying they did the same thing in terms of making rings, the finals. Yeah, you understand that? that you understand a, team, a team that was that had the best record in the regular season ever in the NBA. What time do you have to go out there? Like two thirty, two thirty. Kevin right Durant in order to beat one LeBron James. Well, even yeah, even it got to a point. It got to a point where this team that was the greatest regular season team ever, one of the star players on our team, Draymond Green, goes out publicly and says. They mentally had us. If KD doesn't show up to save us, we might be talking about. But you know that, that, that that's that clutch sports propaganda, bro. Come on, dog. LeBron in a different light. 
if we I know a Gla- if we know LeBron Glazer, James, we know we know a Glazer. Grace Come on, man. To his career that y'all have given to other players, like the way I say that. You know, Michael Jordan. We're not Jordan. talking about other players. You're talking, talking about, about MJ. MJ as well. About, He's one of those players. No. You mentioned that too, Miles, because we're talking about improvement. I mean, this guy has improved every year. And then when I say improved, I mean improved in every aspect of his game. He LeBron? improved as a shooter. He improved as a ball handler. He improved as a defender. He improved his IQ. And all of those things, even at a young age, were far more advanced than even guys that came out of college that played for big-time college basketball coaches. And a guy that 22 years old taking a team to the NBA Finals, I mean, that hasn't happened since never with that Cleveland Cavaliers team nobody had done that in Cleveland since he had done that so the expectation at that point is now championship or bust right. as long as he's here and once he and they got, didn't meet his expectation no, which would explain why he left mm-hmm. which and which would explain when why the going left. gets tough chill out over there. it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the going gets tough it would be more that I think that the the team that was built around him was not nearly as sufficient as the team that was built around Michael Jordan. I think that the team that was built around him, I think that they looked at him and said, we're getting to the NBA championship every year with this guy. How long did it take the Bulls to build that around Michael Jordan? It took them seven, eight years. Okay, eight yeah, years, eight. and LeBron left Cleveland after how many years? He, he left after seven years. And so, what did LeBron do in year eight then? And year eight, what happened? The well, that's melt, the, the biggest meltdown in NBA history. That's right? completely different, and the reason why that's completely different I'm is because... completely different. <laughs> I don't know, that's completely... The, well, the reason why it's completely different is because, like you just said with Michael Jordan, it took him eight years with continuity with the same guy. So he's on the same crew with John Paxson. He's mm-hmm. on the same crew yeah, with Scottie Pippen. Three he's on the same crew with Horace Grant. He's on the same crew with Cliff Livingston. He's on the same crew with B.J. Armstrong. Meanwhile, LeBron James goes to Miami, and this is a totally new system. This is a totally new gig. And this is a testament to his greatness because you expect once he jumps onto that crew that it's just supposed to work out. Not even a st- Nah, 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 I ain't gonna lie. Chill Town's gassing it, dog. Chill Town's gassing it. I understand the continuity point, but let's let's not act like LeBron teaming up with D Wade and Chris Bosh was this extreme hurdle that oh oh my God how is he how is LeBron gonna do this? Huh? Come on, dog. Come on, dog. He he was on a trash franchise, left it in free agency to team up with with, with Chris Bosh and D Wade, so that he can stack the deck. And be on a championship contender. Come on, man. You you can't you can't make that as a hardship, uh, fucking point for LeBron. And I love LeBron, but God damn. We have some wrong. Yeah, with Chris him Bush, picking yes. the team and the coach and the players. And you don't get you don't yes. get continuity arguments when LeBron's the one who actively left the team. Thank He's you. The reason there wasn't continuity. He- oh shit. Oh shit. I can't, I can't say LeBron didn't yes. have continuity when he's the reason there wasn't continuity. If I'm he, not giving him that belt. That doesn't make sense. If he wanted continuity in coaching, he just should have stayed in Miami. Well, but he kept moving around, so he does, he's the one who doesn't want continuity. That's crazy. Well, first of all, he does because if you look at continuity, like you just said, in, in Miami, Eric, he didn't get to pick the coach. Eric Spolster was already there. Yep. In mm-hmm. fact, Eric Spolster, he wanted him fired. So that's mm-hmm. not true. And Pat Riley wasn't going for it. Not that's a great player. That's a great great guy right there. Great goat right there. Pat Riley? No, no. LeBron trying to get somebody fired. But even even like these points right here, I feel like this is when we get away from basketball. You know what I'm saying? Like from from the basketball conversation. Then we get into legacy points. Then we get into like who's a better leader and this, that, and the third. I just feel like for me, the reason why LeBron is my GOAT is he, he, he maintained GOAT-level production Longer than anyone in history. For you to maintain that level of excellence for that long and it's still ongoing, I think is crazy. That to me is why he's my GOAT. You know what I'm saying? It's not because peak for peak LeBron's better. It's not even because off of accolades, I think Jordan is still better. And I would still even say if we're just talking about a flawless career, I do think Jordan still has the closest thing to a flawless career than LeBron. But to me, I just really hold that longevity point like crazy when it comes to this debate. To this debate. So... He's a great goat, man. He wanted. He, he had, great goat, man. Reason, well, reason, great reason, goat. Does, does, does nobody goat. act like Michael Jordan couldn't make a demand? Absolutely. And this is this is my thing. This is where they're not. He, you're, he being, want, you're being. You want, so you want to feel Jackson fired? You're being so disingenuous. You want to feel Jackson fired? Jackson fired. But if he wanted, he wanted that. Okay. He wanted that. He wanted his GM gone. And 
As much as he wanted his GM going, to Jerry Krause's credit, he's one of the greatest GMs to ever do it. Yes. Doesn't he put together a phenomenal. He is. He is. He's oh. not. Didn't get not. nearly as much oh, credit. That's what you gotta say. Like, let's be real. Let's also take into consideration that I think ultimately, mm -hmm. in the grand scheme of things, Michael Jordan had Phil Jackson. Yep. He played with a great coach in college. Mm -hmm. I think there was a lot of things around Michael Jordan that LeBron James did not have, and he had to just ultimately and he chose to. not to have. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, Damn. LeBron do get to play NBA franchise, franchise mode. Jerry Krause's credit, he one of the greatest GMs to ever do it. Yes. And he, he makes people evolve around him. These are all his choices. Eric Spolstra is the best coach in the NBA. And, and he chose not to stay there. The lack of Pat, continuity. Pat Riley was, was Eric Spolstra at the, the time that LeBron Wade left. Was when declined. LeBron left Miami, yeah. was Eric Spolstra. When he left, no, I think he's the best coach in basketball now. Okay. I 100 percent agree with and that. And you think time, at the time he was the best coach he in was basketball? At worst third. He was at worst third. Well, give with the top three. No, 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 let's, no, no. Was Phil Jackson the best coach when Michael Jordan started winning? No. Okay then. So that argument is also it's not in But with that be but but, but that but argument is irrelevant. It's irrelevant for both of us then. What's good, Sad? No, you said he had Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson is a legendary coach though. Because why was Phil Jackson? Why was Phil Jackson legendary coach? Because he put a system around coach. Was he a legendary coach? Eric Spolstra has a system. But was he a legendary coach in 1994? Was he a legendary coach in 1994? It doesn't matter whose system is. I said he put the So how many rings did Michael Jordan win with a legendary coach? Six. Ultimately, but when, so, ultimately, so you think you ultimately. think yeah, ultimately it's six. Right. It's but he was a legendary in ninety one by chosen mission. I'm okay, I agree. I can so agree. how many? When did Phil? Yo, I, yeah, I know, I know for a fact <laughs> their ass hurts right now. <laughs> Yo, you see the you see the couch the other dudes is on. Hold on, is that eleven thirty three? Look at comfy ass couch. And then bloop. <laughs> <laughs> now that's crazy. Uh Chris John, before I go, Souls, who do you think is the greatest coach of all time? I'm gonna be honest, that's a debate I don't really get into. Um, but off rip, I'd probably lean towards Phil Jackson. Eleven rings is <laughs> eleven rings in two different <laughs> like that's Greg Pop is up there too. Um Red Arback is up there too, but boy, eleven rings in the modern era is crazy. Okay, I agree. I so agree how many? That. When did Phil Jackson Appreciate become you, legendary? Man. I think after the three P. Yes. Come so after so after three? the first, after so the three P, you kind of call him legendary. So just three. What do you mean? Because after the three P, you only won three. So with so Phil Jackson, Jackson rings with our legendary career. Yes. Half of his half of his rings. Okay. Half of my exactly. rings. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Cool. Well, okay. Okay. And, and uh, I, I think yeah, that I we, it, but okay. That's that's and that's fair. But I, yeah, think, that, I think we're missing the point of how that unit was built from everybody down. Remember when Michael Jordan showed up there? The only guy that was on that unit that Jerry Krause did not have, that who did not he did not pick, was Jordan. Jerry Krause, Scottie Pippen, that's his guy. Yeah. Horace Grant, that's his guy. John, John Paxson, who nobody wanted, that's his guy. Cliff Livingston, B.J. Armstrong, uh, Bill Cartwright, trading for Bill Cartwright, which Jordan did not want. In fact, he really flipped out on Jerry Krause about that, which we actually roast guys today. I, I think I think right now, Lowe and Mars are winning the debate. I'm going to be honest. I think in this debate, Lowe, Lowe and Mars are going to win. Because, I, listen, I know a great debater when I, you know what I'm saying, when I see it. Lowe, Lowe and Mars are really good debaters. I ain't gonna lie. So, I think they're gonna come out on top. But, you know. When guys get traded, Jordan did not want Bill Cartwright. He, did, sure. he wanted Charles Oakley yeah, on that unit. And if, in fact, it actually worked. So, with that being with, with that being said, that unit being oh, built shit. around him, and then on top of that, <laughs> the next the next time when he came back, and I'm gonna get to the next point. The next time when he came back, why Chicago, are you blazing these two so heavy over there, bro? She was carrying. She was carrying. Interrupt him. Your face. My bad. Go ahead, Chuck. As, as I was saying, Mars. Get a LeBron so, of this right now. So, as, as I was saying, so when he came, so when he came back to, when he came back to Chicago, him and Scottie Pippen, they're the only two dudes on the first championship team that was on the second championship mm -hmm. team, and they win the NBA championship three straight years, not just on the strength of Jordan. That team was fantastic, and you mentioned him leaving Cleveland. There's a reason why he left Cleveland. He left Cleveland because it wasn't the way it was in Chicago. They weren't building that unit around him. I don't think he ever wanted to leave, which would explain why he went back to Cleveland. I once, think that once he, he knew he could get a superstar point guard in Kyrie. I don't think it was a superstar point Love. guard because remember too, Kevin Love and, and Kyrie Irving, when James got them. I, I, I do not think LeBron James goes back to Cleveland if they can't pull off Kevin Love. I think Kyrie is Kyrie because he was already there. But if they couldn't pull off Kevin Love, I don't think LeBron James comes back, bro. That ass. That ass, bro.
Because I remember back then the conversation was, yo, can, can, the, can the Cavs pull off this Andrew Wiggins for Kevin Love deal? Hmm? Hmm? Because if they don't, they're not going to get LeBron. I, I think that's exactly the case. LeBron wanted to be on a team that can win a championship. And when you can put together Kyrie, another top 10 player on LeBron James, that's a recipe for a fucking championship. And he was still trying to team hop and trying to be on situations where he can be in the best position to win championships. So. Because how many playoff appearances they had? Good, they weren't Saul. doing anything. They were just a bunch of guys who put up a lot of That's good, good numbers man. on a bad team. They by your admission, anything. the Cubs weren't a great team, so they weren't building around Kyrie correctly as well, right? They weren't building around. So then, why did you expect them to make the playoffs? Well, the, the reason why they expected to make the playoffs because he did have a good, play play player, a good young player that he saw on his team, and, and Kyrie Irving, a good young no, player. No, why, how do you guess Kyrie, 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 Kyrie wasn't going to make the playoffs because that's a trash organization in Cleveland, yeah. right? But, well, same, same with the Timberwolves, another trash organization. And the reason why him coming back is he feels like he's going to have more input, and with him having more input. Put, and, a, and a good young player in Kyrie Irving and them drafting Tristan Thompson. Maybe they are putting this thing together because oh this thing is a little bit different than what it was. Well, I guess we're playing Spider-Man on stream. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you. Shout out to Godelli for the five fucking gifted, dog. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you first time I was here when they're I like that man I like they're, that they're, they're passing up Amari Stoudemire and keeping JJ Hickson that's this is what they're doing what this is what they're doing while I'm here and they just expect me to beat Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen and Rondo and Paul Pierce with Ben Wallace and 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 uh Delano, not Delano Dover, I'm sorry. Jones, yeah, Jones, guys okay. like that. They expect us Mo to they, they, they expect us to win. And in the process of us doing that, when we lose, I'm the one on the hook for that. So you guys aren't serious about us winning. So I'm going to go somewhere where they are serious and recognize that I do have some input in winning, but I also have to learn how to win too. And, and he the, did that when he was in and I And I agree, but I think... Cooking you right now. <laughs> yeah, you're doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, no, oh my I'm God. Okay. You know, sometimes... What do you say the other day, Ox? Sometimes you gotta just know what your role is. You feel me? You know, right? Somebody now. gotta rebound and play defense. Yeah, exactly. That's so you just facts. You just running the floor. Yeah, that's it. Focus. Now I will say in a two-on-two -two debate. Yeah. Someone gotta be Wade. Someone gotta be LeBron. It can't be LeBron and fucking Kevin Love out there. You know what I'm saying? But for like, you know what I'm saying? If if it's a, a four-man podcast, Steph, KD, Clay, Dre, like who's who? They can't all be Steph. Can't all be KD, man. So you doing you doing what Bama did that day? You gotta fix this color correction. Hey, hey, what I told Ron, that was a great one. you. That was actually great. <laughs> As you were saying, my but yeah, I, I, I do, I do agree that my hoop shoes right there. Oh, uh, it ain't even gotta be no more tall. That's your shoes. Yeah, I thought those was clear. <laughs> <laughs> Where's <Where> Sans? <laughs> hey, yo, you stupid. <laughs> nah, they're stupid, dog. Are they right there for you, too? Yo, he mad at that. As you were saying, my but yeah, I, I, I do, I do agree that the Cleveland gave him more of an input and a say. But I'm saying we know the reason he went there is because a guy like Kyrie Irving was on the crew, and he made the call to see if Kevin Love would be down to join. That's why he went. If that's not the case, he's not going back to Cleveland. And the reason he left Miami is because we see Dwayne Wade declining. We see Chris Bosh. We're still playing at a high level, but he went out with blood clots ultimately. Mm -hmm. When Scottie Pippen was declining, especially in the second three-peat, Jordan could have left. They could have traded Scottie Pippen. They didn't. They stuck ten toes, and he still got another three-peat. LeBron James leaves when he notices signs of stuff falling apart. And then, and then we say it's not his fault that he loses, but every other player has gone through these ups and downs in their career, mm -hmm. yes. and they've stayed... And we're crediting LeBron James for changing and winning in different situations. Mm -hmm. But that's because he's leaving when his ultimate situation becomes be not as beneficial as it is. Because 98 was not a fantastic team. Like, by any chance. I don't think so. I agree Rob, that. Rob, Rob, it's a good point. The same. Chad, that's a good point. out for half the season, and we got in the playoffs. He wasn't the and same. And he's playing with a bad bat. That's, that's what I'm talking about, though, with the uh, the Kobe versus LeBron rings. Um, Like, I understand one of them was uh, coming back from 3-1. You know what I'm saying? But 
There is something to be said about that 9 ring, even though he didn't face LeBron, and I wish he faced LeBron. But I think it's the fact that, like, Kobe reached the heights of the heights, then immediately went to the lows of the lows while being an individually great player, and for him to work himself up to a ring in not only one but two. Like, that back-to-back -to, -back to me, there's a lot of impressive-ass back-to-backs, but that back-to-back -back was crazy. Kobe isn't him. Chat, ban him. Let me chill. Don't ban him. Don't ban him. That's crazy, though. Um, What the fuck? I don't know what that is. A bad bag. Um, what's his name? Ron Harper is not the same player either. And so, and the first time chat, Jordan could have left at post 96 because he just signed. I chose admission. He thinks our just team should have beat the Bulls. And yeah, I've heard you say that as well. I, I, I did. So, I, if, I did if, beat. if that so is not like case, it's just a but I wouldn't think yeah. of that. Like, I would, honestly, like when it comes to like the finals, I wouldn't think that they would beat a team like the Jazz. I mean, I wouldn't think the Jazz would beat them just because I'm definitely because they have Jordan. Yeah, just because exactly. But it's the same way I look at LeBron, though. Yeah, but like, guess what? They no, 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 no. We know, but we know what. Times they beat him. Yeah, we. we he's been with beaten. Jordan. It's actually Ooh. applicable. LeBron. But so is Jordan, though. Like, no, no, no. Example, I'm talking the finals. You just sat yeah. there and said when it comes to Jordan, you don't expect you him to think the a team like going to beat him because they I, I didn't. So don't, don't. I didn't say the final. I'm saying in general because I think Jordan is a better player. Yeah. Okay, so the same thing is applicable to LeBron. You shouldn't think that nobody should beat LeBron. But they do. But they do, though. The I'm saying I'm just not Warriors. surprised. All I'm the saying time. I'm, not surp I'm saying I'm not they surprised. They beat him all the time. All I was saying, oh, I was shit. surprised they, they beat him the all the time, bro. Well, they, Hold on. They, they, Hold on. they beat him more than he won. Oh. Sure, I can get with that. No, low trolling. Low trolling, dog. Low smoking trolling, dog. I think the one thing about the Jordan era, too, that people don't talk about enough is... crazy back crack. Y'all act like Jordan... Wasn't what getting beat either. Mm. It was other dominant teams there in Georgia. Ooh, that was a crazy Don't get me wrong, Jordan, phenomenal player. Right. What's his but era? But sometimes, yeah. What, what, you what is his? What is his era? era? What do you consider his era? Because you have to say the eighties because the nineties. I'm gonna say from the eighties to the nineties, like when he came into the league to now. Oh, his so era when he was a rookie, when he came back. He was a rookie. That's his era. I'm talking about his career. Jordan's era is like his career. My bad. I shouldn't say era. His career. But all I'm saying is, people were dominant. People were winning on Jordan's watch. That's a fact. And sometimes y'all get, I think y'all get lost into that six years. Nobody talked, I mean, the six rings. Nobody talks about Jordan's taking time off. He came, come, go back, come, he go back. People have won in the 90s. The Rockets, they won two. So I just feel like one ultimately. One team. Yeah, but I'm just saying, people also dominated during Jordan's era. Jordan just didn't just clear house. But them three peats were a big deal. I'm not going to discredit and, that. And but I think we act like. The the three the right. two three peats right. was the totality of the career, right. and I just feel like when it comes to Michael Jordan, we don't talk about his hardships enough. Right. Like they, we just don't. Like we act like his career starting in the nineties. Right Let's talk about the hardships. We're talking about right now. If we start bringing up Jordan's hardships and LeBron's hardships, it's going to look bad. But y'all, even if that's true, what I don't want to do is I don't want to get away from the point, and it's just about winning NBA championships because we already know who your goat is, and we if we're just talking about winning NBA championships. Word. Right? Word. Word. Stay consistent, buddy. I don't, to, I don't want this to be relegated to just NBA championships. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I want to talk about the player in LeBron James and how awesome he was and how much better he got over what the course awesome of his possum. career. And the fact Am that I right? <laughs> this guy, as a like, we talk about him as a defensive player and making six all league defensive teams in five. This is a long ass video, though, Chad. Yeah, six. Of six. Them. That's and, 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 and only six. Yeah. Jordan, Jordan has nine, right? Yeah, now. Jordan does six. have nine. So I'm glad you brought that up. Fifteen so years, that's twenty. When you when you think about and when you and when you think about how the all league defensive team is mm -hmm. is comprised, you know, it's a, it's about numbers, right? It's not about it's not just about numbers. It's also about the level that you're playing. I mean, LeBron James, he had a six year, six time, I believe it was five times in eight years, he finished in the top five him, in defensive player of the year. You said the same thing for Jordan, though, right? I do can't. I can't. Oh, okay. and I just, his, and Jordan, and Jordan actually won it. And actually won it. And I'm glad you brought. That up because why isn't he winning it? I mean, LeBron James. He's not as good defensively. That's not true because we're talking about a guy in Jordan. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan be out here killing LeBron. Like LeBron, 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 LeBron right. right. Yeah. Which doesn't yeah. make any sense. And, 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 and I don't think that there's any sense that you can make to that because just so you know, Marcus Gasol, the year that he won Defensive Player of the Year, do you know how many team, how many times he made the All League Defensive Team before that? Zero. You know how many times he made the All League Defensive Team after that? Zero. So that's there's no reason why he should even be in that. That is a crazy stat. Third. Now that that's actually crazy. So Mark Gasol only made the all defensive team once and he won DPOY. And in that year, he didn't even get all NBA first team. Now that's that's kind of crazy. All defensive first team. Now that's a nasty, that's a nasty guy right there. Mark Gasol is a nasty guy, bro. <laughs>
That's crazy. So it's a, it's a, a, a one-year award. Oh, and, 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 and I'm glad you brought that one year up. So we also talking about a guy, LeBron James, who in the 25th, in the 16, 17 season, finished fifth in defensive player. Do you think that was justified? Hell yeah, I do. Think, I think it was justified. In the what year? 2017. When it comes to like the 29th ring. 20, 20, in the 2016, 17 season, he finished fifth in defensive player of the year. It's the LeBron only time did? in his career that he finished in the top five in the league in defensive player of the year and did not make the all league defensive team. Add that to the fact that the next year in the 2017 season, when he had more steals, more blocks. Than both Jimmy Butler and Draymond Green, who were on the All League defensive team, and that's the now. Nah, and this is how I know Chill is like that, bro. How the fuck do you know that? How the fuck do you just know off the top of your head that in 2017, LeBron had more steals and blocks than Jimmy Butler and whoever the f I already forgot who, who we just said. Now that's crazy. That's insane, right there. Shout out to Chill, though. Shout out to Chill. No pun intended. He's a chill guy. Same year that James had the highest defensive rating in his career, yet he did not make the all-league defensive team. Sure so, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 2018. It was in 2018. It was in 2018. So, we're talking about stuff like that. That's eight, right now, that we're, we're, talking, we're talking about stuff like that. That's like Come eight on, or nine bro. more all-league defensive <laughs> nods that we don't I'm going to be honest. Yeah, if I'm if sure. you think LeBron was doing defensive caliber in 2018, I don't know what I meant to say. But even if, let's say hypothetically speaking, because I definitely don't think it'd still be less than Jordan A. That was just two years. That I brought up, but go ahead. I'm sorry. But but be but being more importantly, even if you want to just talk about the game himself, the biggest and I'm be honest with you, even with me going back and rewatching a lot of LeBron, LeBron was like way more like as a raw athlete than I like realized. Yes. Nowhere near the same jump shot that I thought he had, mm -hmm. and especially before he went to Miami. Mm -hmm. Even when he went to Miami, low key that 2013 run, this this is the perfect definition of like winning bias. If they lost 2013. That was another bad finals. It was a, that was a terrible finals for him because he couldn't make a shot. Anything outside, yeah, he couldn't. But you mm -hmm. think you game remember se otherwise? Game seven, he could make. Game it seven saves happened. everything. Mm -hmm. Up until game seven, he's shooting like forty-two percent from the field, yeah. like thirty-one percent from. Th oh, I need to, I need to look back at that. I need to look back at that dog because that sounds insane. Let me let me fact check these guys, bro, because no one ever fact checks these guys. That's that's kind of crazy, chat. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of crazy. You're telling me up till game six he was playing that bad? Hold on, hold on. So these are the up until game seven. Excuse me. Ooh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, uh, Bron Bron. Nah, yo, chat, imagine if LeBron, deadass, if LeBron lost that shit, bro. The narrative of his only ring was going up against the baby Thunder, who have three, in hindsight, perennial playoff chokers. Nah, that's crazy. Nah, this this is bad, though. This is bad. 23. I mean, bad, bad for these standards that we're talking about. Can't I can't say 23 points, 11 rebounds, and 8 assists with 2 steals and a block on 3 turnovers this game is bad. But it wasn't great. It wasn't great. I'm saying... Um, mm -hmm. from the um, behind the arc, yeah. he's not making any free throws. Yep. Mm -hmm. He is genuinely struggling yep. to be productive in that series. That's and fair. even in the entire postseason mm -hmm. run, he's also Amazing struggling. Even if you go him. through his peak yeah. mm -hmm. from 2011 to 2015 and 2016, most of that postseason well, runs, yeah. he is struggling immensely to find topic. his shot all throughout it while being on some of the most talented rosters in the NBA. Yep. And the biggest reason why they lost in 2011 is because of him. Mm -hmm. I know y'all didn't think I was going to get to that, but I'm here now. Oh, we have oh shit. That. So in 2011, the reason why they lost is because of his inadequacies, inadequacies and his inabilities. That, right. There's no rhyme or reason why somebody like J.J. Beret and Jason Kidd should be mm -hmm. able to defend him. I agree. And I've rewatched that re like very recently. Mm -hmm. And genuinely, Jason Kidd is standing in front of LeBron James. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make any sense, but it's because he can't attack a zone. He right. can't shoot. He wasn't a good three-point shooter. Even he got to the free throw Didn't line. Play out the post. Couldn't play out the couldn't even play out the post right. to take advantage of Jason Kidd. Though from a from a pure basketball standpoint, because you're right, we can mm -hmm. we can remove the yeah, We can talk about basketball. If we're talking about strictly talk about, sure. basketball, mm -hmm. I don't think Jordan has such a deficiency to that extent that right. could break. So this this is what I'm talking about when it comes to these career debates is because of, like, the progression of a player. So when we're talking about who's a better basketball player, like, what...
what what exactly are we comparing? Because even with these specific players, their peak is very subjective. What is LeBron's peak? You could say it's from, what, 09 to 2012, but that player is significantly different from 2017 to 2020. You know what I'm saying? 2016 to 2020. Um, so I feel like even when we talk about deficient, like with, with Michael Jordan, the deficiencies he had in the, in the late eighties is not the same deficiencies that he had in the early nineties is not the same deficiencies that he had in the late nineties. So when we talk about who's a better basketball player, I just think we need to be more selective and more definitive with what that actually means. And how we're quantifying that in this debate. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, the progression of a player is typically coming out the gate. They're not as good. It's a lot of raw athleticism. As they age, they get more skilled at around 27, 28. Um, But they might, like, the, the skills catch up, but they still have deficiencies in their game. By their late 30s, or not, like, by mid to early 30s, that's when the the brains catch up, but the body starts to slow down, so they're not as good def- uh, defensively. You know what I'm saying? So, and also slow buckets, that's crazy. Calling me edible is crazy. It cost his team series and runs or anything like that, the way that LeBron did in that run. And, and quite honestly, How much is the chair? in a few other series. If- I'm glad you asked. Just look up Herman Miller and body gaming, bro. That's listen. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it publicly, but just look it up. Just look it up. The opposing team was just slightly better. If the Eastern Conference was slightly better, then it would have been different because it was very easy to pick apart LeBron's weaknesses, even at his best, sure. even at his absolute best. Yeah, but I also, but I would also push back and say, over time though, I think he worked on those deficiencies. Now, is he still is he great three point shooter now? No, he's better three point shooter than Jordan though. Free throw shooter. Mm-hmm. I no, I'm asking. No, he's not a better. He's not a better free throw shooter. No, no. Has he who's worked a, who's on a, who's free throw shooting? Shooter? I don't think. I don't think he's a. No, no. He's not a better shooter than Jordan. Has he talent. worked on his free throw shooting? I mean, he probably has, but he's not a good free throw shooter. Okay. Not a. Not a good free throw okay, shooter. Okay. I won't, I won't argue that. In his post game, his mid range shot. Hey, do you think he's really been sufficient enough in that? I think over time, he's gotten quality. Define quality. Oh. I mean. Quality just means it, it works. Like, I think he's improved his game over time where you say he was a raw athlete, which I agree. I think when LeBron first came into the league, he whole was year's... more physically. more. Now, is that real? $2,000 is a whole year's rent in the Philippines? That ass? No, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Gifted yes. than everybody else. I won't even deny that. It's almost like I haven't even done the math, but I honestly but would not be surprised. That ass. Over time, because of 2011, and things of that nature, I think LeBron knew that I have to expand my game. There's things I have to be able to do. So so this is my thing, too, when it comes to the criticism over 2011. I will say day by day, it, like, it looks worse. But I think every, every great has certain growing pains to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't think LeBron becomes the player that he became without 2011. I don't think Jordan becomes the player that he he became without the bad boy Pistons era. The only difference is, is that Jordan had to go through that before the finals and LeBron actually did it in the finals. So I think in that instance, I understand it's like, it's not a cool, it's not a, it's not a legit one-to-one comparison, but that's one of the stances where I feel like, okay, we, I feel like we're penalizing LeBron for making the finals. You know what I'm saying? But in order to win, like I, I think when they played Boston in that game six at Boston, I think that was one of the moments where LeBron, you could see the work that he's put in to get to that point. He was sure. his mid range, his post moves. You could tell that most players, when they have a meltdown like that, they don't always bounce back. What that could have been online? that could have been LeBron's absolute fallout for, for sure. And Look he up came pro back. club I shirts think on Amazon. Ways, being able to go to come white and back black shirts adversity also makes you great. But the hoodies, you know, you know, in the next series, he shot 18 percent from Supreme OVO. That's, that's my point. Like, I think shit. that's what I think I didn't people, say it was a good thing. Yeah, I'm just one, saying it's inconsistency. But he can get hot. But that's the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's I'm, the point I'm, I'm glad you brought up inconsistencies because you brought up a really good point about what LeBron James did. You brought up a really good point about what LeBron James did in, uh, in, uh, in the NBA finals and how his in, in game seven and how his game could decline. Well, I can rewind the clock back to before Jordan became Air Jordan when he had hair and they called him Air Jordan. 
Jordan, when he was averaging 35 a game against the Detroit Pistons, and that 35 in game four, five, and six, when they were up in the series against the Detroit Pistons, went down from 35 a game to 22 a game. Mm -hmm. He wasn't blamed for that series, however. Even though if LeBron James had done something like that, LeBron James, they would have said that he choked. Mm -hmm. And then I can fast forward Facts. to the 1992, 1993 Michael Jordan, who I thought that that was the best version of him. So we got the Eastern Conference minutes. Championship going on, Mars. When I say we got the Eastern Conference Championship, the Knicks are picked to win this. And Jordan starts the series. He is egregious. He is not giving them anything. It takes a gallant effort from Scottie Pippen in game three for 29 points. Otherwise, they go down 3-0 in that series. And that Damn. series is looking really different. And not Jordan had a triple-double? Th that was the game. Yeah. He, I, I believe he had a triple-double in this, that game. This is the game but, where Chill claims he did nothing but had a triple-double, but then will claim that LeBron in that game seven against yeah, Detroit it's, when it's, he had like 14. Exactly. Eight, That's what this game is. This is that game. I didn't put it to your style, <laughs> man. This is like yo, 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 yep, yep, yep. This is the game that I have biases towards. Yeah. And what you gonna do about it? Legend. <laughs> No, nah, chill is funny, man. Chill is funny. Yo, Souls, you play a game yet in Damo League? No, I haven't, bro. I haven't. Ever since the draft, I've just been... I want it to be more offline. So, I'll get into the swing of things this week. I might play some games on stream, too. For those who don't know, Damo started a Let's Keep It A Buck League. I'm in it. Sage is in it. Obviously, Damo's in it. I think Simi's in it. Um, Dwayne's in it. A couple other people. Gradelli's in it. Yeah, Gradelli's in it. I'm saying, what will you give me for Jason Tatum? Zion. I'll give you Zion and another role player. You want Kaminga or some shit? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That game, absolutely. And he did. He, but who do we know Jordan to be? We know Jordan to be an all around great player. We do know him to be that. But he's also playing with another all around great player who compounded what he did in terms of his scoring, in terms of his rebounding, mm -hmm. in terms of his playmaking. He compounded that. So what Jordan didn't do, he actually did. James, on the other hand, he didn't have that opportunity early. He did not have that opportunity early, and then I can look to, I, I, I can look, I, I can look, I can look to other. It's they really popular. I, I, I respect this. I respect against this. Against the Miami Heat, go nine for thirty-five in a game. I mean, if we got LeBron James going nine for all -time thirty-five, all-time great game, defense, Miami Heat, by the way. All-time great defense, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. and and just just just, just, just the same as that. just the same as the Detroit Pistons, all-time great fellas, defense. Fellas, fellas. Wait, who? Wait, who? Also, wait, 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 it's over. Who was the all-time great? Hey, wait, yeah, yeah, six, not the six. Everybody gets one minute. To make their closing point, who starts? There's still 14 minutes left, Ron. Nah, this got to be the longest one minute ever, dog. I ain't going to lie. This got to be the... <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck is at the tail end of this shit? Oh, they got outtakes. Okay, I am about to say, dog. Like, what the fuck? j Rock. <laughs> Shout out to my glorious king. That's it. <laughs> Yo, no, no, that's that's such crazy glaze, dog. That's such crazy glaze. Yo. That's it. That's it. I've just i I've, I've I've never seen a guy. I, I was a Jordan guy when I was since too, a kid. I, I, went I was from too chill. Michael Jordan. LeBron James was in year 10 in 2013, and he had four league MVPs. He had won the NBA championship two years in a row, and I wasn't even interested in having a conversation at that point. It wasn't until 2015, 2016 that I started really paying attention to this guy to make sense of, yo, man, is this guy as good as I think he is? Turns out he... I, I'm going to be honest, and this might sound Mickey as fuck, but, yeah, after after LeBron came back from 2016... Uh, from 3-1. Now, I was 16 years old at that time. I ain't gonna lie, chat, for a calm week. Because school was still going on during that time. For a calm week, I was like, yo, LeBron's the GOAT. Like, yeah. yeah, LeBron's the GOAT. The GOAT! But then, I, you know, I had to spend the block around on that. But... He was. I've never seen a guy come into the game with that amount of hype, that amount of fanfare, that amount of pressure, and deliver, and continuously deliver without folding and just completely giving yeah, up. I've never he's seen folded. that. He's and it took me a long time to come to this conclusion, but he's the best that I've ever seen. Without folding is kind of crazy, because I mean... <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he folded. But, um, look, <laughs> nice. I, I think LeBron is an amazing player, genuinely. But I, going back and re-watching a lot of, like, even peak LeBron, the deficiencies are like 
almost alarmingly bad. Now, to be fair to LeBron, he's a highly IQ player, intelligent, mm -hmm. so he finds ways around, especially with his passing and playmaking. But when I watch Jordan, he's just like leaps and bounds better than like everybody else on the court when he's playing. And I don't think, as great as LeBron is, I don't think that there's times where I don't think he's leaps and bounds better than everyone else. And even as time progressed, when Scottie Pippen got older, Dennis Rodman got older, they weren't the same players as they once were before. And they're still winning. He's still pushing them to 60 plus wins, even without Scottie Pippen. I think that to me is what really swung me back into Jordan and made it even more concrete that I do think Jordan is the greatest of all time. Um, I think it goes to the fact that not only did LeBron have many deficiencies that teams could counter, Michael Jordan was so much of a great all around player, but we focus so much on the scoring aspect that we ignore the fact that he was the best playmaker on his team. He probably was one of the best decision makers in the league. He was one of the premier defenders. He did everything so well, but his scoring was so transcendent that we seem to ignore everything else he did as such a high. Yeah, I, I would even argue, I would even argue that Jordan's a more complete player. Like peak, peak for peak, I would argue uh, Jordan's a more complete player than LeBron. Because if you really, if you just go out of points, rebounds, and assists, like that fucking argument, if you talk about mid range, post game, free throw shooting. Um, finishing at the rim, finishing at the rim will probably still go LeBron, I ain't gonna lie. Um, point of attack defender, like a lot of things actually favor Jordan. Off ball movement, but it's cool though, it's cool, it's cool. High level. And for me, the biggest issue I've always had with LeBron is how everything has to be catered to him. He is the system. You have to put a whole team around him and his strengths. Yo, Souls, when did you go to Bronze side? Because. Every Souls and Sage vid, you against him crazy. Um, I ain't gonna lie, it's, it's fairly recent. I, and I'm being so dead ass, dog. When that video came out like two weeks ago of, yo, LeBron, you're the oldest player in the league. How do you feel? And he's like, ah! And runs down the court and Tomahawk slammed that shit. I was, that really, like, yo, this, this dude is the oldest player in the league. And it's still top 10. Like, what What the fuck are we talking about, dog? Literally, the only one that completes, uh, competes in that longevity is Kareem. And I feel like at this stage in their career, LeBron is still better than Kareem. And also, I think even Kareem's longevity, like, stopped after this year in his career. So if LeBron could literally do this shit for three more years, which I think he can, bro, it's cooked. It's cooked and avoid his weaknesses, get him the spacing, get him defenders around him. Whereas Michael Jordan has shown time and time again, no matter the system, no matter the situation, he's going to perform. He's going to play without the ball. He's going to play with the ball. He's going to play defense. He's going to run the floor. He's going to play in transition. He's going to play in the half court. He can do so many things for you that you're not stuck in a box of how your team needs to I'd probably play. Go LeBron's I think a better that's finisher. what elevates Michael Jordan mm -hmm. to be the best player that I've ever gone back and watched. And I think he's the best player to ever play. And I think that's a wrap. And that's a wrap. Like mm. a subscribe. Yeah. We're each gonna react to the to everything, I mean, and we're each gonna give our take on what happened. I gotta say, that was a heck of a debate. I was waiting. Nah, I, I fuck with that debate though. That ass. I ain't gonna lie. Thirty minutes of pure pain. Thirty minutes of pure fucking pain. All right.